Most of the isolations, the ones that I do is uh, involves. Uh, I start with the neck, the neck, the head first. So it's like this. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's like a square. So you you have you imagine you have your head in in a square box, and you go one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So um, what I do after that, I, I use I use my chest too. I have like a lot of I can manipulate my chest a lot. So it's when I go left, I actually push my chest to the right. I mean, when I go right with my head, my chest goes left. So I push it to the left, and then like this. Boom, 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 boom. So it's I isolate this whole part from one part to the other. And then you have like the, the hips, you isolate from the chest at the same time. Boom, 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 boom. And then you could you could get the neck, chest, and hips doing all kinds of weird movements. <laughs> or like this way. It's all about like moving the other way. And then there's like isolation, like muscles isolation, they're like fingers, isolation, every finger, whoops, every finger one by one. And then uh, you have like the muscles, this, just one by one, just the muscle. Or this. Or like this muscle. Right. Or just like this. Or like the a lot of the waivers use these muscles. Like this. Like sideways like that. So when you do a wave, it adds the impression. And then you have this, then your chest is like one by one, just like one part. Yeah, the, you go do a wave, start this way, finish this way, and finish it this way. So you got that, boom, 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 boom. Then you could go. Boom, boom. Just do this a lot. One, two, one, two, one, two. The foundation, the Fresno. And from there, just just use your chest. Boom, boom, boom. Just the chest do. Then isolate, stop with the chest, you do the arms. Without using, try not to use the chest. And then like neck. And there's like another isolation in the neck. And the chest is like a lot of like forward and back movement. Like head back, chest forward. Or forward. Like that. And then we go down. It's a lot, it's a lot like stomach movements. It's for, for waving especially. It's a lot of these um, movements. Because when you get a wave in, you gotta do chest first, then like the stomach goes in, and you drop the wave. It looks like some people. So.
It's a lot of stomach. That's why you need for a waiver, you need a lot of stomach isolations. And then, you know, the legs would be, you know, like uh, usually have the, the forward pop, the bop actually, and then the like the back flick. And you, it's a lot of up and down movement. So it's like up and down, up and down, up and down. And you finish it. Up, down, up, down. So that's mostly for legs. It's an up, up and down movement, going like forward, like a, like a wave, you know? And, and even like, <laughs> like these, these muscles, you could use these. Or like, like these, you have. Forward like that. It's like, you know, like um, from like the, oh, most of the isolation come from um, muscular guys from uh, like bodybuilding because they learn how to like isolate part of the body and like this that was the first probably isolation <laughs> this you know from you know like like Popeye and shit <laughs> and then you know develop to others there's like uh, in yogi like the yogis do do crazy isolation most of the people never seen like like they get like stomach in like one part of the stomach goes in the other one stays out like that and they could actually do the stomach in and out like that and there's plenty of other isolations that you know we didn't go into it we don't really know about how what actually i think like the body could like actually come into each other together like that there's like it likes like like a cube you know that you open up and close it in yeah.